Hey everyone, this is Teo from Parkablocks.com. Welcome to this week's book review. I have two new books here with me. These are from the 5 minute sketching series. I believe a few months ago I featured the first two books from this series which are focuses on architecture and people. So these two new books, they talk about landscapes and animals and pets. If you want to check out the reviews for the two earlier books, you can visit the links in the description box below this video. And now let's take a look at this book first, Landscapes. This is authored by Virginia Hine. I believe she is a teacher, if I am not wrong. She is also a member of the Urban Sketchers group. I have sketched with her before when she came over to the symposium here in Singapore two years ago. So the presentation style of this book is similar to the two earlier books because, well, they are from the same series. So what we have is basically one page with the tips and techniques and the other page with illustrated examples. And these examples that you see here, these are either from Virginia Hine herself or from other artists from all over the world. The tips are quite brief, but they are very uh, practical tips that you can follow, that you can use. Some of them are ideas that you can explore, some are techniques that you can practice. All the tips, they are quite brief, so they are very short and concise, but very helpful and insightful. This book is a paperback with, let's see, 128 pages. Now even though this book talks about landscapes, it's not just a rural landscape. You can um, use the techniques that are uh, talked about here, that are explained here. You can use those techniques to apply to other um, landscapes like urban scenes, cityscapes, or even urban structures because many of these tips, they are um, the techniques, you really can use them for other subjects, so they are quite useful in that sense. I really love some of these um, examples. This is by Suhita, who is also another member of the Urban Sketches group. This is by Liz Steele. This is by Melanie Rim, Shari Blakoff. Many of these names are very familiar because they are all from the Urban Sketches group. So there are lots of wonderful examples, a lot of tips, a lot of insight. So this is Landscapes. Let's take a look at animals. So if you want to draw animals, if you love drawing animals, you want to learn more about how you can sketch them, sketch them quickly, or how other artists approach sketching animals, this can be a good resource, a good guide for you. This book is authored by Gary Garris and also he has a contribution from other artists as well. can see that the structure is the same. For every two pages, we have the techniques, the tips on one side and the illustrated examples on the other side. And this book also has 128 pages. The book also talks about the structure of animals so you can use that information to make your drawings better. And it covers a lot of different types of animals like cats, dogs, horse, cattle, how to draw their skin, the texture, how to draw fur, how to draw unique animals, how to capture them, how to capture them when they are moving, how to capture their muscles how to capture their personality, how to draw birds, shadows, 
there are a lot of tips and a lot of beautiful examples. And right at the back, we have a quick list, a sort of a checklist uh, of tips for different types of animals. Like how to draw the hooves, the muzzle, nose, the paws, about their proportion. We have this in the landscape book as well. I think I did not show you that. So we have um, this as well. Some of the key elements and points to additional points to take note of. The last thing I want to mention is there are two publishers for these books. One is Search Press, the other is Firefly Books. And depending on where you are, one version will be easier to find compared to the other and there will be some price differences as well. The books that I have here, they are published by Search Press and I bought them on Book Depository. The price is actually significantly cheaper compared to the Firefly Books Edition. So if you are interested in getting yourself a copy, you can visit the link in the video description below. And that's all for my book review this week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.